Greetings, fellow PCs, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. I had a handful of people um, suggesting that I play this. Um, I'll preface this with um, one of the warnings that it mentions on here, that if, if you are um, easily disturbed or you suffer from anxiety, depression, that kind of thing, um, it is highly suggested that you do not play or really watch this. I'm not too sure how well uh, living vicariously through me would go with this. Um, and for uh, clarification, I am even running a risk playing this myself. So, uh, with that taken care of, um, I was told this is going to be very much like a dating sim. Um, I would be lying if I said I hadn't tried dating sims at least once. Did not go over very well, mind you. Um, but on top of that, it is also supposed to be much darker than that. It's supposed to get significantly more disturbing. Um, we'll go ahead and continue on. An individual suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please go to DDLC, so on and so forth. Um, also, every episode of this that I do post, I will be including the uh, the disclaimer that you likely saw at the beginning of this one in front of everything. That way, if somebody comes in halfway through, they'll see the disclaimer. Um, um, I, I, I'll continue this as best I can. If I get to a point where I am not comfortable playing it, I'm not going to continue to upload it. So, if I can continue on. Uh, by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, gotta, gotta agree. Um, I agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Again, from what I've heard, pretty bad. Um, and uh, so I'm only gonna go about as far as I feel comfortable playing this. I'm not too sure if that's gonna be one episode, if that's gonna be three. Um, I'm gonna try to push for three, but there's no guarantee on it. So. Made by Team Salvato. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Okay, let's look at settings. Uh, window, full screen. Okay, go ahead and load up a brand new game. Please enter your name. Let's say, Kef. That is... I'll take this off so I can actually hear myself. So, Kef. Go, okay. Hey! I do be doing horrible voiceovers here, but I will try my best. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance. Oh boy. Uh, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might be drawing to herself. Those are my favorite types of people. This girl is Siori. And again, I apologize if I'm slaughtering uh, names on these. Uh, the neighbor and a good friend of mine since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'll never see yourself making today. <laughs> Fun. Um... It just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long. Uh, we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more and more frequently. I know the feeling. I'm doing that even now. Um, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me, uh, chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Do it! Uh, however, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Siori catch up to me. Oh my god! Ha! Ha! I ever slept again. Surprise. Uh, but I caught you this time because I let you. <laughs> Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> eh. You say that like you're thinking about uh, about ignoring me. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's mean, Calf. No, it's not. It's called being honest. Um, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Ooh, but a kappa. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. Oh well. In case you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Fun fact, I actually... <laughs> I'm debating going the mean route on this, just to see what happens. Oh, whatever you say, Siori. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm not going to attempt to do girl voices. I mean, I, I could try. Um, they sound horrendous. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Calf, have you decided which uh, on a club to join yet? A club? How about a spiky one wrapped in barbed wire? I think I'll join that club. Uh, I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, uh, that's not true. You told me you wanted to join the club this year. I never, I never, ever. Did I say that? Not pretty sure I didn't. Did I? I'm sure it's impossible. I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations, where I dismissingly go along with whatever she's going on about. Those are the fun types of conversations. Siori likes to worry a little too much about me. 
um, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average or on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Same. Been a while since I've watched a good anime though. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Hey, I have plenty of skills. Gaming is a skill. It's a very refined skill. Um, your happiness is more important to me, you know. Eh, well, if you insist. Um, and I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat. A neat? Um, in a few years, because you're used to the real world. What are you talking about? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. Look, if, look into a few clubs, and if it makes you happy, no promises, though. Well, at least you promise me you'll try a little. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. I have to. Yay, she's happy. Oh, why do I let get myself? Uh, why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? It happens. It happens. Uh, more than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent. Self relent to her. I can read. Um, I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. I think there's I think there's medicine for that. School days are as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I wish I could say the same about work. Some days, you know. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Oh, that's me now. I'm just like motivated to paint the wall maybe but clubs she really wanted me to check out some clubs I guess I'll have no choice but to start with the anime club great start let's start there hello Siori Siori must have come to the classroom while I was spacing out I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom well good going I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out so I came in Honestly, even worse than, than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Why, thank you. <laughs> I think. I'm not too sure. Um, you don't need to wait for me. I'm just going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know. Know what? Well, Jean, come to my club. This is going to end well. Siori? Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Not even if you beat me over the head with one. Will I walk into your club? Eh, meanie. Deal with it. I had a friend a while back that uh, that acted very much like Siori, and I learned very quickly to be like, eh, you can just deal. Siori is the vice president of the literature club. Oh boy. Not that I ever... Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherit inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the anime club. Sorry! Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, does she have a thing for me? She probably has a thing for me. I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in new members. Oh my god. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Count me in. I'm done. Count me in. No. Right there. Boom. Cupcakes. <laughs> There's just a coffee. We, it's a definite. Don't make promises you can't keep. There better be cupcakes. I swear to god, if I walk in there, there's no cupcakes. I can't tell if Siori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning. Uh, as to have planned all of this out. You can never tell. I let out a long sigh. Sigh. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. You know what that is. Uh, fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? That'll get me in the door. Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I have sold it for a lot less. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used to the third year classes and activities. Siori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Whoosh. Everyone, our new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Hello. Uh, welcome to Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Siori always says nice things about you. She better. Seriously? You brought a boy? Hey, you know what? 
A way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Kef, what a nice surprise. Do I know you people? Do I want to get to know you people? Welcome to the club. Ellipses. All words escape me in this situation. I am the only man in a group of women in our literature club. Okay. This club is full of extremely cute girls. Oh my god! <sighs> this is one of the reasons why I don't play dating sims or anything that's along this thing. I'm just like... I'm good, thank you. What are you looking at? I am looking at that wall. It is an amazing wall. Who built that? Let's write a poem about him, shall we? Or her. If you want to say something, say it. S sorry? Natsuki. <laughs> Girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Do not recognize her. You must be a main character in the game because your hair is pink. Also you because your hair is purple. And the other one's just a secondary character. It's kind of the rules of hair. <laughs> well, I mean, if they're all, you know, whatever. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Yeah, probably. She's also one that made the cupcakes, according to Siori. They better be amazing freaking cupcakes. Oh, she's got a she's got an, a large red bow. She's a main character as well. Um, you can't just ignore her when she gets moody. I will try. Siori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, that is this is Nasuki, always full of energy. Always. Um, and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. I am going to guess... Which one? It could be other one. Ah, here we are. D don't say things like that. She is the smart one and she's shy. Her and I are going to get along real well. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Siori and Atsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Oh, right, Siori with the... I forgot who I was talking to here for a second. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Monica? Oh, Monica. Oh, right, the Monica with the... Okay, gotcha. I got confused. Um, it's good to see you again, Kef. Who are you? Monica smiles sweetly. Okay, I see where we're going here. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. See, this is how it tends to go. There's the, the rogue shy one. There's the one that's like all up in your face. And there's the one that you've known for years and years and years. Which tends to be the one that most people go for. As, I, as I, I've developed games, and this is very... Oh my god. Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Of course she is. Basically completely out of my league. Of course she is. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Oh, God. I didn't exactly like high school growing up. I do not like going back through this. Come sit down, Calf. We have room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. Huh. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. How about you make some tea as well? Give me some coffee. Well, the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Siori mentioned, I've been widened so that I, there's more blah, 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 words and things. There is one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Okay. Do we go for the popular girl or the girl that we've known forever? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Probably the best one. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! They better be freaking amazing. Whoa! I'm horrible at uwos. Nasuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. I am going to get a freaking cavity with how adorable this is now. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Creative, I'll give her that. So cute, I'm going to eat a cat. I had no idea you're so good at baking, Natsuki. Ah, well, you know. Okay, so she's good at baking. I'm... This thing's so you gotta remember every single detail, and I am horrible at remembering these details. Just hurry and take one. Quickly, eat a cat. Sioi grabs one first, then Monica. I follow him. It's delicious. You didn't even put it near your face. At least make an effort to do the animation of, you know, never mind. I'm nitpicking. Leave me alone. Sioi talks, uh, talks with her mouth full as she's already managed to get icing on her face. Good going. 
Enjoy the cupcake around, cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I'm studying the cupcake. I'm like... Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Are you eyeballing me as I'm trying to eat a cat? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. They were store-bought. Totally store-bought. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... You said you made them. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you... For you or anything. Uh... Oh, 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 I see what is going on in your facial region. Uh huh. I see what's going on here. I thought you technically did. Siori said, well, maybe. God. Huh. <sighs> These women will be the death of me. But not for, you, you know, you, dummy. Ah, uh, I see what's going on. All right, all right. I gave up on Nasuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. So good way to go. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully takes the teacup in front of each, uh, puts the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to me, next to the cupcake tray. I'm putting words in here. I'm writing my own story. Do you keep a whole tea set in the classroom? I would keep a whole coffee pot in the classroom. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. I like these. I like these teachers. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea make you enjoy a good book? Yeah. I, I mean, <clears throat> I, I, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that, that's not... And the sweat drops. Oh my god. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. It's fine. It's fine. Well, tea reading might not be the pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. That is a lie. I don't know who you're speaking to. Blasphemy and whatnot. I enjoy coffee. I enjoy tea, but not as much. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Oh boy. So what made you consider the literature club? I was voluntold to come here. Uh, um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I was dragged here, kicking and screaming. I was told there would be cupcakes. That's the whole reason I came by, anyway. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Ledger Club, oh boy, um, it's my duty to make sure the club's fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? She'd probably be on a board. She'd probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of a debate club last year? Oh boy, this will be fun. Copy. Never get in a debate with this woman because she will debate me all over the place. Uh -huh. Well, you know, of course, of course. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Agreed. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. That's part of being in a club. Monica, you need to research a little bit more. There's always going to be politics. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Okay, I can, I can, I can understand this. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I am fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. I would imagine so. Yuri also nods in agreement. I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. Yeah, you're not doing your job. It must be hard to start a new club. I can say from somebody who started a clan in an MMO, it is, it is difficult. Club, clan, whatever. It's difficult to get new members, so it's a lot of shameless advertisement and getting your, your current members to be like, hey, you should join the thing that we do. You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. It is rough. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that it's both fun and worthwhile. Again, I understand. But it makes school events like a festival that much more important. I'm confident that it'll all, the, all really grow in this club before we graduate. I hope so. Right, everyone? Oh, boy! And fade to black. <laughs> yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. If this isn't the like most cliche ensemble of possible anime characters or and or RPG characters... 
Huh. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Are we gonna jump in the air and do freeze frame? Like, no? Okay, just me? Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Yeah. Maybe that's why we're all so delighted to the idea of a new member joining. But I still don't know if I can keep up with her level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Kef, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, let's not get into this. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. And I'm not... I say manga, people say manga. I should say manga more than... Manja, just to annoy people. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Is she... Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Does she want to slap me, perhaps? Not much of a reader, I guess. Nope. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Fair enough. Level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. We're two completely different people. She seems so reserved and timid since the move moment I walked in, and it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. I can relate. But you know, I like lots of things. Do you like anime, perhaps? Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? I say so. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror stories lately. Uh, I, read a, I read a horror book once. Once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at this minimal level. <laughs> That's uh, the horrible. Um, at this rate, Yuri uh, might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very success successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, what's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Why are you eyeballing me, woman? Never mind. Just like, excuse... You and I are going to have words by the end of this. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what?! What gives you that idea? Boy, I wonder. You left a piece of scrap paper behind behind last club meeting. Oh, it looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. Oh boy, what is what is this? And give that back! Fine, fine. What is it? Your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> Siori uh sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. It actually is. Very much impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Well, fine, then. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Try me! Ah, not a very confident writer, are we? I understand how Natsuki feels. Oh? Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is written to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and show even the deepest reaches of your heart. This woman, right here. She should be the leader. <laughs> Do you ever have writing experience too? Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. And ellipses. I guess if I guess it's the same. F uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I want to read everyone's poems. We'll sit there in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Okay, Asuki and Yuri look quizzingly at Monica. Let's all go home and write poems of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um, ellipses. Yeah, let's do it. 
Plus, now that we have a new member, I think we it will help all of us get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Calf? No. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sure, I may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made the decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I'll lose my train of thought. And they're all staring at me like I just... ate an actual cat. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Don't... don't... no. Don't... don't do that. But... but... I, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Calf. Well, I done messed up. You all... I... I defenselessly... I... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Eh, boy. Alright. Okay, I've decided then. I'm joining the anime club. Goodbye, everybody! <laughs> okay, now, I will... I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sue wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You really did scare me there for a moment. I was just trying to I was just trying to get a rise out of everybody, it's okay. If you really just came up for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> but what if I did? That makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica takes up, uh, looks at me over once more. What is up with you? Kef, I look forward to seeing you express yourself. how you express yourself. Hee hee hee. Yeah, her. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? No. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat, and Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Kef, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Siori and I never walk home together anymore, because we always stayed after school for clubs. Or she always stayed for school after clubs. I am having issues. It's been a long day. Sure, might as well. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save here, because I'm already running about 20 minutes into this. Um, next time we will pick up. Go ahead and save. An empty slot. Um, we'll be saving here. Uh, next time we'll pick up, and I will continue on with my walk home, all that fun stuff. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, be kind to your local NPCs, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye-bye.